There has been a really important court case on August 13th of 2021. The wireless world in the U.S. irrevocably changed because on that date, the U.S. Courts of Appeals in the D.C. Circuit, one rung below the Supreme Court, applies to the entire country. In one case, an environmental health trust we heard from before, they sued the FCC and won. And this is what the judges ruled, quote, we mandate that the FCC provide a reasoned explanation for its determination that its RF microwave radiation guideline adequately protects against harmful effects of exposure to microwave radiation. We, in particular, the FCC must provide a reasoned explanation its testing procedures are protective, which they're not. And two, we must address the impacts of RF microwave radiation on children, that's our target, on the health implications of long-term exposure, they only look at short-term, and on the environment, which they tend to not do because the law said you didn't have to look at environment until this lawsuit, now you have to. The letters that we sent to the board this week included links to 27 volumes of peer-reviewed scientific evidence, 11,000 pages, folks. We're not asking you to read every page. What we are saying is this is exactly the same evidence that's in the record upon which the judges based their ruling. This evidence is irrevocable because it was, one, accepted by these judges. They're the highest judges in the land. It was certified as probative evidence. Nobody can say, oh, those studies aren't any good. We're not, we can't look at those. Uh-uh. Evidence at the federal court served as the basis for the ruling and the mandate, and it proves that this current guideline they talk about is not protective. That's what it proves. So the FCC is supposed to go back and do this work. They've dragged their feet for two and a half years, and they're probably going to stonewall some more.